hi hello everyone uh, um, in this video I'm gonna explain you what what the minomic I made to remember all this all of this ovarian tumors associated with all of this tumor markers okay this is definitely not a good thing to remember I mean it's lots lots and lots of to remember and the questions in the exams and even in the clinical life clinical practice you will you will face this problem where you don't know which marker is positive in which tumor and in which tumor it may be positive or in which tumor it is definitely not positive so this is what the confusion is and i try to make it easier by making a minomic it will be just like you know your your mobile lock pattern so let's try to understand what i made here so you need to remember one minomic first that is d c y p i e m d c y p i e m d c y p i e m okay d c y p i e m so d4 this germinoma c4 choriocarcinoma y4 yolk sac tumor p4 polyembryoma i4 immature teratoma e4 uh, embryonic carcinoma or embryonal carcinoma and m4 mixed germ cell tumor right so you need to remember all of these seven subtypes now now i made some pattern lock thing okay so let's look at this line i'm gonna select the red line okay it will start from this ldh here and go away go away go away to, to here another red line it will start from the third row it will go away like this now we remember this two line you can make these two lines okay yeah one from you know it starts from ldh remember so it starts from ldh goes away in this three row and from the third row it goes away in this direction almost similar parallel directions so wherever this red line is there there is a plus sign right now i can erase this red line Now let's make a green line. Green line start from AFP. Like that. Like that. And then like that. Okay. So wherever this green line is, we will make it negative. And then we'll also erase this green line. So yeah, you got your all plus and minuses. Now the remaining boxes can be either plus, minus, plus, minus, right? All of this plus, minus. Right. Now, now you can relate things. Okay, look. If you want to say which tumor markers are present in choriocarcinoma, then you know that it is the beta HCG which is present in choriocarcinoma. But you also know that the LDH can be or may not be present in the choriocarcinoma. The problem was here. Everybody remembers beta HCG is positive in choriocarcinoma but when they asked when they are asked that okay guys tell me whether ldh is positive in choriocarcinoma or not and at that time people get really confused but now with this technique you are 100 percent sure that okay ldh can be or may not be present in choriocarcinoma right now let's take an example of this germinoma which is the common question in this germinoma, you have one thing positive that is called LDH. There will not be positive AFP. But 
बीटा एच जी कैन बी पॉजिटिव और इट मेट नो बी देयर राइट सो नाव यू रिमेंबर एवरी थिंग एग्जैक्टली द सेम टाइम राइट जस्ट लुक एट इट द सेवन थिंग एंड थ्री थिंग ट्वेंटी वन डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन यू रिमेंबरिंग विद दिस टू लाइन्स ओके आई थिंक इट इज द बेस्ट वे टू रिमेंबर आई विल जस्ट मेक लाइन्स वंस अगेन right so uh, just just you know just tick this box or just get a print out of that or just made it on your own note and just put on the picture okay so you will remember all of this i hope you enjoy this technique and i hope that you get really really good marks when this kind of questions is asked to you thank you very much obstetric gynecology you know the obstetric gynecology channel is going to be uh, i'm going to use this thing as more and more uh, support towards the all of the students who are studying at any stage let's say mbbs even um, post graduation or even further examinations mrcog mrcp ecbog everything so thank you very much for guys and uh, we'll see you again thank you